charting pane is where charts, indicators, and price data are displayed. In the charting pane you can display charts in various sizes. The default value is for the three month view, but you can easily change the scope here in the periodicity combo box just by clicking and choosing the appropriate periodicity. If I click and drag on the chart, I can zoom into a very tight specific periodicity as well. And by using your right mouse button, you can display the shortcut menu and zoom in and out this way. All of the charting options are accessed by choosing this Chart Options button. Think of this dialog as your floating palette for making charts appear the way that you like to view them. This upper area is used for displaying indicators on the chart. Just select the indicator that you want to display and then press the Enter key or click the Chart button. For example, I'll select the 10-day moving average and then the Enter key on my keyboard and you can see the indicator displayed on the chart. This area allows you to customize the way the pricing bars are displayed. You could also display pricing bars as bars, candlesticks, a simple line, as a mountain, or as open, high, low, close tick bars. You could also display weekly bars if you choose to. The daily data points, the date, the open, the close, the low, and the high price, display down here at the bottom of the pane. There's also information for the number of shares traded, the percentage change, and the dollar amount change. If I click on the chart, you can see the status bar, and as I move my arrow keys, you can see that the data is being changed down at the bottom. This button here is for the candlestick guru. There are about 70 statistically significant candlestick patterns, and when the Big Easy Investor recognizes a pattern, a red box will appear around the last few days of the trading, and a pattern name will appear at the top right of part of the chart. Clicking on the Guru button launches the Candlestick Guru and automatically brings up the recognized pattern so you can compare the recognized pattern with the ideal pattern. This pattern is the inverted hammer bullish. And as you can compare the ideal with the recognized pattern, you see that it's a fairly close match. Down here at the bottom of the Guru, you can read some text that explains some of the psychology behind the pattern and what the traders currently might be considering.